Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Stay with us and please subscribe my channel to get update news of Elastic. The profession may be lethal, and Discovery's deadliest catch is a documentary-style program unlike any other. Over time, who passed away? And which member of the cast really died while out crab fishing? Continue reading to help you remember. Todd Cochetan's death is arguably one of the most striking examples of how simple it is to perish on the yachts. Todd was 30 when he passed away. It was almost a year before his death's specifics became public. Luckily, it didn't occur while the Discovery Show's cameras were rolling. Fans ultimately learned that he had died from deadly injuries he had sustained when an 800-pound crab pot struck him, even if it took some time. Other deadliest catch crew members who passed away because of their dangerous job were Danny Matlock, Josh Paulus, and Blaine Steinmetz. That happened to Eagle Eye from Dungeon Cove in 2016. The vessel went down, and Reality Tidbit reported that Captain Glenn Burkow was lucky to survive a huge killer wave. Capsizing in high seas and freezing cold conditions means very little chance of survival. Gold Rush and Alaskan Bush people have both been accused of a lot of scripting by Discovery fans. However, actually getting out in the harsh conditions of the waters around Alaska is another story. Under pressure to perform in very dangerous situations can take a toll on mental and physical health. One of those who passed away included Malin Reyes. Malin Reyes passed away from a heart attack, with no relationship to any actual fishing problems. Deadliest Catch star Nick McGlashan was very upset when he heard the news. However, he also passed away. Captain Nick was only 33 years old when he passed away unexpectedly. The news that arrived in December 2020 shocked Discovery fans to the core. After all, he appeared in 80 episodes of the show. Over many years, Delius Catch fans heard that people like Phil Harris, Blake Painter, and Justin Tennyson passed away. In 2010, Phil Harris had a stroke when he was emptying the boat. He passed away five days later. Jonathan Hillstrand lamented the passing of Mike McCullen earlier this year. Recall, he dispersed his father's ashes at sea with Jesse, Mike's son. Some people, like Captain Bill Witprowski, are not well. What do you think about the health risks that the cast members encounter when going crab hunting? What about the people who lost their lives due to potentially stress-related ailments brought on by their extremely risky jobs? Could you handle their jobs with courage? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below and return here for more Deadliest Catch news.